Sob story continues. I started uh, disassembling this, thought it'd be noteworthy to fire up the camera. I've got, what I've got to do is get this lens is foggy and leaky. It's fogging, it's getting moisture on the inside. This one is just foggy. I was going to try to take care of them on the car, but when I started taping off, you can see the residue there where I was working, trying to get these cleaned up and polished. They're too, it's, it's too much to do on the car. Also, he said that he has a, a leak in the windshield washer um, reservoir. And I think all it is, is there's an O-ring that fits in here. I see somebody had, I don't know if you can see it or not, but somebody's put Permatex on it, trying to stop that leak. And uh, I'm not sure if I have that O-ring or not. I have a pretty big assortment of them. Anyway, we're going to try to get that leak fixed and get the headlights good and clear for his mother, the new owner. i got to take this whole bumper cover off, and I'm going to be tough. I've got a few of these clips out. I've got to carry on right here, take these out. Inside the wheel well, there are little bolts that fasten it here, and we have some underneath, but... This car sets so low, I'm not going to be able to get a good camera shot of that, and I don't have a lift, so I'll show you those whenever we get it off. I'm going to set these o ring removers, and I found them to be a great little tool to get these plastic rivets out with. They pop that kind out, as well as this kind of just has like a little more like push pin. Not sure if that helps anybody or not, but just a little for your information moving blanket down here in the floor I want to protect all this paint from the concrete and getting scooted around now the other side I got it loose there's three bolts around the front plus those that go up in under the fender okay they're eight millimeter head and two screws that go straight up uh, in the fender that is the other side I was able to just give it a quick pop and it came out for me I don't know if it... there we go very good. Now I can get my uh, now I can get my headlights along with their lenses the whole assembly out now. One more bolt that was holding this assembly in it. It's right here. It'd be this would be the position right here. I've got the headlight flipped upside down. I need to get this connector loose. I'm gonna pull this red tab back. There we go. There's our headlight assembly. I found our. Um, let me get this cleared back this this is where the seal failure is you can see where it's sealed here not here sealed here not here I get I think you can see I don't know if I got my camera angle right or not anyway what I'm gonna try to do Kenny doesn't want me to retire on this so what I'm gonna try to do is go around this entire thing after I get the lenses cleared and get silicone scuff it and seal it it's not going to be a permanent fix, but it'll help. Anyway, we'll get that sealed for at least a year or two anyway. And I'm going to work on getting this lens clear. This lens, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. The damage was so deep that I had to take 1,200. And I'm just now getting down, just now getting down to smooth. You can see it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like orange peel. It was uh, it was damaged that bad. This a headlight lens restore wouldn't touch what was wrong with this. So we're going to try to get this repaired real quick and see how clear we can get them. All right, guys. Here's the I've been experimenting here. This I from this is what I've done with 1200, and I did that all the way back this way. And I started with using this headlight lens restore. Okay, I used it right here. Okay, and then right here I use some just a uh, the light to medium. Let's show it to you there. Light to medium cleaner. It's a polishing compound. I can't tell any difference between these two spots. So what I'm gonna do is this is this is where we started at, and you can see that real. I don't know. It's a really heavy, heavy, deep, grainy. Uh, I don't know. It's bad. Anyway, we went from here. To here 
to here and I'm not done yet I'm just using the little my little die grinder with a little uh, buffing wheel on it polishing pad and we'll see what we can do with it I put this one of my jackets underneath of this I'm trying to keep the moisture off the underside of this where I have to seal it at any rate I'm gonna go ahead and get the 1200 on this side do a quick wet sand and get all the nasty off of it and then we'll polish the rest and reinstall I kept experimenting with this how I was going to finish this out and I was going to use this headlight length restore what I wound up doing it with this whole process just if you want to try it for your information whatever I took 1200 over the whole thing and in the end what I did I used this just like if you were going to buff a car like buffing compound and I used the die grinder with that little uh, little buffing wheel on it okay after I got all that done I used just some turtle wax and I put it on the lens as if I was going to um, wax the car and I'm taking it off with that same with that same uh, buffing wheel Alright guys, I took the 1200 to this one too, and it's, it needs another, I'm off to make another pass with it. You can see the difference where I've got it. I don't know, it looks pretty good here, but it looks like I need to get more work here. Anyway, I guess this is normal for these, I don't know. I like driving old cars, so none of my vehicles, well maybe my wife's RAV4 got them. Anyway, I, this is not familiar territory for me. It might be normal, but you can see how that's kind of, I don't know man, I, I just, it's kind of weird. I guess it's UV rays. Sealing this uh, headlight assembly where it was getting the moisture in it. This is, it's called Lex L. I think this stuff is better than silicone myself. Uh, it's supposed to even stick to wet surfaces. That's not why I'm using it now. I'm using it because it's an excellent product. It's just not as friendly. You know, if you thought silicone was a little unfriendly, this stuff is worse than silicone concerning friendliness. And it's because it, when it, means sticky this stuff is it's kind of like I don't know if you ever dealt with pine sack but that's that's what this stuff reminds me of not something you want to get all over yourself just wiping it down to make sure I get in that seam really well it's not going to look the best but it, it's going to seal this is the o-ring off of the window washer reservoir it was broken and they put permatex on it to I guess fix the o-ring I don't know this is the only thing I had close I keep this little package of o-rings rounded up now I'm thinking I realize that's a little bit bigger we've got it looks like the same thickness I'm thinking that this will stretch and seal that this may be a little bit thicker looks like it may be not sure I'm going to try to make this work. I have another one here that may, it's a little, a little fatter. I don't know if, I might try that one. It's a little fatter than this, but if I, if I can get that filler neck over it, I'm going to try this one first. See what happens. I don't know if this is going to work or not, guys. Hopefully it's not too fat. That's got a, a bit of a taper end on it this may this may do it for us oh no well that fit in the groove we'll see the front end back together uh well i've got three bolts to put in the bottom that run around the lower end of that apron it's like the o-ring for the windshield washer reservoir that worked out really good last thing we're going to do on the old sob is i've started cleaning the engine but he wanted to get it cleaned up real quick and get it to his mom so i've started i just put the use purple power on it scrubbed a little bit now we're going to pressure wash it and then i got to get this thing off to the tire store and get that slow leak fixed and this will be a wrap 
All right, gang, it got its quick bath. We're going to wrap it up now, and we'll move on to another project.